Hey there, folks! It's me, Blaze the Wolf! Yay! Oh. I told you last time that we were going to talk about stars! Yay! So, well, before I start to talk about star, I will just make a little resume of the ball! I mean, the photon! And the ray! Remember that? Yeah? Well, I told you about those that were the light, but I didn't tell you how big, how big is the wave and the photon. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so, well, imagine a beam of light coming through your window in a nice summer day. Ooh, it's beautiful, it's summer day. And there's a ball. Ah, ah. <coughs> photon, I mean. And, well, there is about zillion of photon and wave coming through that beam of light. Zillion! Just imagine how much there is surrounding you right now. So that give you a little idea how many there is that are going to the right speed. There! Bye! Yeah, that's about it. And well, what is a star? Well, a star is a luminous spheroid of plasma held together by its own gravity. Yeah, so it means that the gravity makes the thing that doesn't go, oh, I'm gone. We stay together. Yeah. And there is about 300 sextillion star in the universe who can see. Well, I mean, some we can see with our eyes when you're going outside and look the star around yourself. Ooh, the stars. There's many, many little dots. All of those little dots are stars. Yeah. And some are like thousands of year, a light year away from you. And some are less farther away. Like there is one. Uh, it's it's uh, 4.2 light year away from us. Yeah, it's about, and it's uh, in Alpha Centauri. Yeah, so th that's the closest star we have to us. Yeah, but still, it takes four years for the light do -do 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 travel to come to your eyes, and for a little, hey, I'm here! Hey, yay! And uh, there, yeah, at a nice speed. So, uh, make a travel there would take a little bit long, right? So, uh, our sun, yeah, our sun. Our sun. Look, I made a sun for you guys. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? I'm having a lot, a lot of budget, as you can see. You'll see, I put the sun. <laughs> and I wrote sun on it. Well, it's not yellow, it's more orange color, but hey, pretend it's yay, it's orange, all right? Okay, so our sun is about 1,391,000 kilometers across. So from here to here, that is across 1,391,000 kilometers. That's very big. And we could fit in our sun, we could fit about one million and three thousand star I mean not star <laughs> Earth Yeah Earth We could fit Earth one million three hundred time in our star So it give you an idea how small it is Earth compared to our sun Yeah alright th that's the name we give to our star the sun and the sun is in our Solar system. Yes, that's why it's solar because it's the sun. Solar system. It's all the planet that go around the sun. And I did a little dot here behind to give you an idea. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Well, I hope so. I'm trying to. My goodness, where? Where's my wave? Wave from here. I need you. Ooh, photon. Yeah, so see uh, this circle here compared to that 
sun, that star. Well, that's supposed to be Jupiter. That's the size of Jupiter compared to that. And this is Saturn. And this is Uranus, Neptune. And the little dot is all, it's still too big, but that's, I want you to see it. So <laughs> that's supposed to be the Earth. And then beside it is Venus, and then Mars, and Mercury, and then that's the planet going around our sun. There is other planet that we call dwarf planet, like Pluto is the dwarf planet now, and there are other, but I'll talk about the planet next episode, so I don't want to, you know, spoil everything at this episode, Roy. Yay! So, yeah, the stars vary in size, right? Some are smaller than our sun, yeah. Some are as big as Jupiter. See, that's small. They call those red dwarf, yeah. And there's a red dwarf, it's called wolf, 359, yeah, yay. And why 359, I don't know, maybe it was like, Hey, how many red uh, star we named the wolf? I don't know, uh, 359. Yeah, okay, so that's uh, 359. Something like that, I don't know. <laughs> but it's wolf! Yay, wolf, yay! Okay. <laughs> okay, so there is different type of star. And uh, there is uh, the, the red giant. So our sun will become a red giant. And so eventually the sun that you see here will start to go bigger and bigger and it will eat it will eat mercury oh my mercury and it will eat venus oh my god bye venus and maybe earth they're not sure yet but uh it might go bye bye earth yeah uh, yeah but don't worry this will happen in five billion years so if you're still there in five billion years, well, send me a note, all right? Because I want to know how hot was it, right? <laughs> okay, so and then after that, the sun will have burnt everything it has, and then it will start to shrink, and shrink, and shrink, and become a, a white dwarf. A white dwarf is as big as Earth. See how small it will be? The sun will become like big like Earth. And eventually, it will dissolve in the universe and become a nebula of gas and then vanish. And no one will notice you were here been there. Oh my god! And well, yeah, well, that, that will happen in many billion years from now. So you don't have to worry. I'm not worried. Yeah, I'm not worried. There is differences of star. There are also. Uh, star like a brown dwarf, there is a super giant star, neutron star, uh, there is black dwarf star, pulsar, and there is even black hole star, and yeah, black hole star, uh, and a black hole, ooh, a black hole, and it's so, I'll talk, I'll talk a little bit more, I'll talk about the black hole in another episode because it's very important for you to understand what is a black hole. And if there was a black hole of the size of this, come just beside our sun, our sun would, would go, ah, I'm eating you, yes, I'm eating you, ah, I know. Everything's gone. Yeah, yeah. A black hole is very, very dangerous, but I'll explain that later, right? And there is some star so big, my God, so big, so huge, that our sun looked like a little teeny teeny dust beside it. You know, I have, I have a balloon here. Let me try to find where I put the dot. I don't know if you will see that. Just in, on top of my, my paw. There's a little teeny dot. Ah, you know, probably don't see it. So, uh, oh my God. Can you see that? Ah, oh, anyway. It's, so small, and even the, the, the dot that I put there, it's big, too big for that size 
of star and there is a star that we know and that is so huge that our sun will look like it's just a pixel compared to the big sun it is and the, the name of the sun is VY Canis Majoris yeah it's it's so big we could fit 9.3 billion our sun inside it do, 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 be, how many so <laughs> can you imagine that it's like so big <laughs> my god so yeah we are very small in the universe and yeah and uh, star are there are <laughs> oh, sorry let's see blah, blah. Take two. Click. Ah! Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> the biggest star is this one. Well, not this one, but you know. And it's not green. It's it's a red. It's a big red giant star. But I didn't have a big red balloon, so I it's green. Yeah. You have you have to to excuse me because I don't have any budget. <laughs> so anyway only star with a lot of mass will turn into supernova what is a supernova well a supernova is a star that is burning all its nuclear core yeah i mean all the fuel the nuclear fuel is burning and it's slowly its mass is follow into the core. The core is uh, the center of the star. And it collapse and it explode. So I'll make an explosion of a star for I'll try. So this will turn into a supernova for you. So I'll try with a wave. <laughs> ah! My God! It explodes! And now you don't see anymore because full of light yeah can you see the light well I cannot see because I'm blind <laughs> yeah that's that would that would, that's what would happen if the star could blow like that a big flash of light because all the all of a sudden I'll push, everything is going pow and that's what we call a supernova but you don't have to worry because the star has to be at least five times bigger than our Sun to become a supernova so our sun will never turn into a supernova well yeah poor sun right <laughs> i already told you what is coming for the sun oh my god it will become dust in the universe yes i know isn't that sniff sniff yeah but we won't be there so don't worry about it right so anyway oh right just so you know, I put some link in below if you want to look about a little bit more about the, the, the star so you can follow the link and see a little bit about those if you're interested to know more. So that's about a star and as I told you next time we'll talk about the planet but before I go if you like my show, well, don't forget to subscribe, yay! And to ring the bell if you want to know more about my silliness of the science. Woohoo! So, till next time, when I turn a planet, well, you take care. Bye-bye!